I've spent years building WordPress websites with WP Bakery, but today is the day. I've finally switched to Elementor. Why? Well, I just launched a brand new site with Elementor that wouldn't have been possible with other page builders. So here are the five reasons why I switched to Elementor. The first reason that made me switch to Elementor is that I'm just beginning to prefer building my websites with a front end editor. Now for clarity's sake, WP Bakery offers both a back end wireframe editor and a front end editor. But I've always been open about the fact that WP Bakery's front end editor isn't the best. I've not cared about this because I just build my site in the backend editor in one tab, click the update button, and view my changes on the live site in another tab. This is because a lot of front-end editors aren't 100% accurate in how they display the page in the editor, and the live site is going to look a little different anyway. However, as responsive designs become more and more complex, I find it helpful to see where elements fall on the page in real time on both desktop and mobile, and this is way easier with a front-end editor. As I've tested Elementor in recent months, I I found that it displays your page more accurately than other options, including the blocks editor. So since I've started to prefer a visual editor and Elementor does that best, that's a big reason why I made the switch. The second reason why I switched to Elementor is to utilize dynamic elements on my website. One priority I had when designing my new website was to have different pages for different product categories where I could display specific products for each use case. I could have built a static page with each of the products and duplicated it for for each category, but what happens when I need to add or remove a product? Or what happens if I want to change the design of those pages? I would have to rebuild each page from scratch and make the design changes by hand. But then I discovered the Elementor Loop Grid Builder. Using the Advanced Custom Fields plugin, I created a custom post type for product reviews that contained the exact fields I needed. I then built a template for my product listing and used the Loop Grid Builder to dynamically generate my pages. So now I can add or remove products as a post in WordPress without the need to open the page, add a section, remove a section, swap out the image and button URL and just all the convoluted mess that it would be if it was a static page. If I ever want to update the feel of the page, I can just change the product listing template and it will update on every page for every product. I'm sure I could have achieved this functionality in WP Bakery with a plugin, but I like that this feature is built into Elementor. Another built-in feature you can take advantage of is the subscribe button. It's free to click subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be the first to know when I drop new videos. The third reason why I switched to Elementor is to reduce the amount of plugins my site needs with Elementor Pro. Now, Elementor Pro is not cheap, and to be honest, that's one of the reasons why I resisted switching to it for years. But I built my website using the free Hello Elementor theme, and thanks to the Loop Grid Builder, Form Builder, and Pop-Up Builder, I was able to eliminate several plugins that I previously would have paid for. Less is more in WordPress design, so the fewer plugins you're able to use to build your website, the better. Fewer plugins means less code to load, fewer things that can break as a result of PHP updates and browser updates, and fewer potential potential security vulnerabilities. So not only does Elementor Pro help me build cleaner sites and rely on fewer plugins, but it also saves me some money. Now, I get that this may not be a popular opinion when many users are upset at the repeated price increases of Elementor over the past few years, but honestly, I don't think it's unreasonable for what you're getting. Premium versions of contact form builders and email list opt-in plugins can easily go for $99 a year for one website. So $99 a year for three websites websites with Elementor Pro or $199 a year for 25 websites isn't bad when you look at it in that context. Now, my biggest reservation is that Elementor will continue to inflate prices as the years go on because they know that so many sites are reliant on it and they have a captive customer base. But the Blocks editor has come a long way in recent years, and as a result, they have more competition than ever. So they have to stay competitive and keep innovating to retain loyalty. This brings me to the fourth reason I've switched to Elementor. They've been constantly innovating and adding powerful new features over the past few years. In recent months, they've added Ajax loading for the Loop Grid Builder, a new image optimizer plugin to convert images to WebP, and Elementor AI. The team at Elementor is listening to user feedback and implementing features
features that users are requesting through GitHub. While WP Bakery has felt stale in recent years, not adding many new features, Elementor is grinding, dropping new updates at least once a month. Elementor might be one of the only page builders in WordPress that gives you the tools to build one of those Apple-style product pages with rich animations as you scroll the page. It's features like these that make me appreciate the true power and flexibility of the page builder. If you have any questions about the features of Elementor or which page builder might be right for your website, I'm always available to chat in my Discord server. I help out as much as I can and you can also gain insight from other members of the community. I'll have it linked below if you're interested in joining. In the fifth reason why I switched to Elementor is the theme builder. With Hello Elementor and the theme builder, I have the power to essentially design my own theme. I love getting to customize not just the header and footer, but also the templates for a page, a post, and even search results. The theme builder is so powerful, and even though WordPress is implementing this natively with full site editing, it's still not nearly as advanced as Elementor's implementation. The theme builder empowered me to make my website my own and build more elements from the ground up, and I've never felt empowered like this with other themes or page builders. So do I think everyone should use Elementor to build their website? Not necessarily. I think the best fit is for users who can get value out of the pro features. The theme builder, loop grid builder, form and pop-up builder, and integration with ACF are the types of features that make Elementor Pro worth subscribing to. If you don't need these features, you could use the free version of Elementor to build your website, but with the huge advancements in the stock blocks editor in recent years, I think you'd be better off using that to build your website. The main advantage to using the free version of Elementor is that you can seamlessly upgrade to the pro version later on and add the advanced features without having to rebuild your website. But if you know your site won't ever need those features, I'd use the blocks editor over Elementor free. If your site can take advantage of the dynamic features of Elementor Pro, I think it's an incredible value. My site's new dynamic features were inspired by the CMS collections feature in Webflow. It helped me approach my site design with fresh eyes. I recently tested Webflow to see how it compares to WordPress. WordPress, and you can check out that video here.